Mm, look at that fast kickback and response. These improved all aluminum hand grips throttle and this aftermarket kill switch are a huge upgrade. I'll leave a link in the description. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be swapping out the stock throttle and hand grips on my buddy's bike for some aftermarket ones that are all aluminum because the stock ones tend to strip out. I'm also going to put, give him a better kill switch that's more water resistant and it's just going to look nicer with the new hand grips. So I recommend these. I got them off of Amazon. They come in multiple different colors and as you can see that's all aluminum right here. Now I did run into an issue where it's a little tight fitting into one of these holes but we'll go over how to address that in the video and this won't strip out like the stock one does. Look so much nicer too. I've also got him a new kill switch that will go with his grips and it's an improved model over to what's come stock. More water resistant. It's a little more sleek. Looks a little nicer. Okay, so of course the first thing we're going to have to do is remove his old throttle. I'm also going to take this mirror off for now temporarily as I have a feeling it's just going to be in the way with the new one. We'll take this off and we'll go ahead and get his other one modified and put on there and then we'll address the kill switch. Of course I'll be taking the kill switch off with this throttle because the stock kill switch and throttle are all built in as one. Now if you don't want to mess with your wiring and you want to change just the throttle you could actually take this apart and rip that off of there and slide it down and change your throttles without touching your kill switch. So if you have a stripped out throttle and you just want to save a dime and replace it, you can do that easily too. I've got the parts laid out to make sure everything's there. And this throttle is actually set up to go on either side. Of course, good on that. Of course, you'll check these two out. One has a larger opening than the other. That one will be the one that goes over the actual throttle. The other one, of course, is just your left-hand side. Now, the thing with these is I have learned... They have this nice little decorative cap on the end, and this piece right here can come out. I guess if you wanted to put some tassels or a mirror on your bike. But I've learned to go ahead and take a half inch socket and reach down in there with an Allen wrench and go ahead and tighten that up right off the back because it will vibrate loose. They just don't tighten them up enough from the factory, and that'll save you from losing that piece that screw right there on your first ride like happened to me one time so we'll go ahead and tighten both of them up I'm just giving them a good snug and that should be good enough we'll go ahead and just put him on out of the way for now So I've got his off. It's actually in pretty decent shape on this end, but down in here, it's starting to push this plastic right here, and that's the issue too. This piece strips out just as fast as this piece does. Worst part about it is all the zip ties you got to cut off of there. Make sure you don't cut your wires when you're cutting your zip ties, if that's what you use to secure it. Now would be a good time to knock any dirt or rust or debris off your handlebars while this is exposed. If you have painted handlebars, you may need to sand some of the paint down to allow these to go on easier. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this little bit of rust that he's got going on right here, just with some sand cloth. While it's here, keep it from getting worse. I'm not gonna go crazy as I don't wanna take the chrome off. That'll kill it, stop it from growing. We're going to go ahead and take the throttle off the old kill switch and throttle housing and swap it over now. And go ahead and 
spin that off of there with it loose you should be able to spin it with the wire in place this would be very useful if you plan to keep your kill switch and just want to change out your throttle for now I'm just focused on the throttle and we'll worry about the kill switch later so take your throttle put it on there right side and simply twist it around getting it into place go ahead and line it up on your bike how you'd want it that's about right right there just how he had it it looks good to me I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this piece down a little bit right here all right now that you got your throttle dummy fit on there, make sure you have your throttle tightened down and where you want it, locked in right here. Go ahead and slide it back off. We'll take it apart. Now go ahead and get your piece fit in there and pull your cable tight and align it with the hole that it's gonna, you're going to have to go with. I've actually found that it's been the middle hole every time I've used these. Now, unfortunately... It's just not a very good fit. It's actually tight. So what we're going to do is take a small Dremel or a drill bit and drill this hole out just a little bit. I've got a Dremel with a small bit here. And I'm just going to use it just to gently grind out this center hole just a little more. Oh! Well, that's the, that's the end of that Dremel bit. So as you can see, it didn't take a whole lot. You could probably jam it in there, but this will keep it from breaking. All right, now remember one of these grips is slightly bigger, made for this throttle. To make it easier, I'm just gonna put a little squirt of glass cleaner on there. Let me knock off some excess of the paper towel and Working on on there slowly. You don't want to bend the metal or the aluminum rings right here. That act as your support. Oh, something that should be noted. This is screwed in. Make sure it is nice and tight, so you don't have any issues of it coming loose on you. I had actually forgot about that. There we go. Just a little squirt of glass cleaner. We'll keep let it go right on there nice and easy. And polish it up at the same time. Alright. Seated all the way on. We're ready to now when you're putting this together, go ahead and adjust your stopper screw right here on up there. Before you go to put it on there, or it'll really mess with you. Check for a response. We're still good. Put it all the way on there. And when you cover this over, you should be able to just cover the hole that came with your stock one. If it had a pin that locked it in. If you didn't have a hole there, you don't have to worry about that. Go ahead and tighten these evenly, if you can. Keep in mind, it is aluminum. You do not want to strip it out. Like I said, you should just cover the hole from the other one. You don't want to try to go too far, too much farther, too far on there, or you'll rub your handlebar with your throttle. Now, once you get it about where you want it, start snugging it, check it, and make sure it's not bound up or nothing. Because, like I said, you go too far, 
you will rub your handlebar. Go too far to rub the handlebar. See, it rhymes. Now you'll remember. And that looks pretty good right there. I like it. I'm gonna give it the final snug. And I'm gonna check it. As you can see right here, I actually have a gap on one side and no gap on the other. Now you could probably run it like that and it wouldn't be an issue, but I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up the tight side. Just a little bit and tighten on the loose side. And then tighten them both up. Feels good, I can't move it. Still has good response. Feels nice and tight compared to the stock ones. All right, the throttle is hooked up. Time for the kill switch. Attaching the kill switch is easy. It comes with just two Allens. Easy peasy, you don't have to slide anything out of the way. Well, I mean, you don't have to slide anything off because you can, with this clamp, you can put it on afterwards. And these kill switches come in multiple colors, but the switch part itself is red on all of them. So keep that in mind. Again, just like the throttle, you'll want to make sure you tighten these evenly. I will loosen up the tight side, tighten down the loose side. Again, they're aluminum, so they're stronger than plastic, but you can still strip them or break them. So keep that in mind. That's good. That feels good. All right, now we just need to wire her up. So unfortunately, the one downside of this kill switch is it doesn't give you enough wire to reach all the way down there to the CDI in the engine. And even if it did, the plugins on it are slightly different. So we're going to go ahead and just cut this, cut the old wire. We're going to leave it attached at the bottom and splice back, back in, shrink wrap it all down. It actually comes with a piece of shrink wrap over top of it to cover all that. It's like they knew you'd have to do that. There we go. Now when you go to splice these back together, make sure you leave yourself enough slack. Your kit wire really shouldn't move much. You'll have it zip tied here and here. That should lock it down, but still, you don't want to have to redo all this. So I'm actually going to flex this down, end this up, and I'll cut it up here. Now, a lot of times your wires won't always color match, but that's okay because your black will always go to your black, and in this case you have a black and white, it will go to your blue. But as long as black goes to black, your other one will line up and match no matter what. Go ahead and slide your shrink wrap over your cables. I bend mine just to hold it in place so I'm not fighting with it. Go ahead, splice your cables together. 
once you go ahead and splice your wires together, bend them down so when you push your shrink wrap around them, it doesn't undo them. You'll want them to be about middle of your wrap. And take a lighter and slowly heat it up. Get it all the way around. It'll shrink right over top of your bond right there. All right. We're, at, we're together. I'm going to go ahead and crank it up one time. Make sure that's those are good before I put the final shrink wrap on it. I will, however, put an extra zip tie to secure it all. Worked great. We'll go ahead and shrink wrap the whole thing and call it a day. This piece goes right over top of it all. Don't burn through it now. Just make sure it takes tight to it. All right, I'll add a few zip ties and go for another test ride and we're done. Make sure everything is running and working good. Everything's working good. Throttle's nice and responsive. Kill switch works great. Another successful DIY project done.